Full gauge controls introduces the MT512E 2HP instrument of the Evolution line. It's a highly versatile product which can be applied in cooling and heating controls. Through its powerful relay, it picks up loads up to 2 horsepower. The MT512E 2HP is available in 1224 volts DC or 127 220 volts AC. Evolution line products have as differential front with IP65, which protects the instrument against moisture, a four-digit display, LED indicators of the operating process in progress, a LED indicator for the selected temperature unit, four control keys featuring the unique flat tech key which streamlines and simplifies the entire operation. Installing the controller. The controller is fitted into the cutout made in the attachment site. Install the protector vinyl that comes with the instrument to protect it from moisture. If you need even greater protection, we provide as an option the E-Case Accessory. Also optional is the use of the extended frame, which allows installation of the instrument in various situations. The extended frame comes with two 10-amp switches, which can be used to turn on and off items such as lamps and fans. For the wiring of the MT512E2HP controller, see the user's manual and the wiring diagram at the top of the instrument. Connect the terminals as shown in the animation. Important. According to international standards, we recommend installing an RC-type transient suppressor filter in all facilities, regardless of power. For loads of greater than 2 horsepower, use a contact switch of suitable capacity. The RC filter and the contact switch do not come with the product. We now present two installation examples of the MT512E 2HP. You must configure and install the instrument according to your needs. Cooling installation. Assuming power is less than 2 horsepower, a contact switch is not used. However, the RC filter is used. In this installation example, the supply is made with 127 volts AC. Heating installation. Assuming power is greater than 2 horsepower, use a contact switch and the RC filter. In this case, the supply is made with 220 volts AC. Basic operations. Set point. The set point is the function we set to switch off the installation charge. The set key allows access to this function and also meets the confirmation function, or enter, for all controller settings. To change the set point, press set for two seconds until the set message appears on the display. When the key is released, the adjusted control temperature will be shown. Use the up or down keys to change the value. When you get the temperature value, press set to record it. The temperature, or set point, can also be adjusted by pressing the flat tech key or by accessing the F02 setting parameter. Flat tech key. By pressing flat tech, you can navigate through the function menus of the MT512E 2HP, as we shall see. Manual defrost function. The manual defrost is achieved by compressor shutdown. Access the function with the flat tech key, press set, the cooling icon will turn off, and the defrost icon will be shown. To reactivate cooling, repeat this procedure. The defrost icon will turn off, and cooling will be shown. Locking the functions. After locking, for safety, the parameters can be viewed but not changed. Note. To enable the lock, the parameter F20 should be set to a value greater than 14. 
After accessing the lock function with the FlatTech key, press set, then down until the message appears. When you release the key, the message lock enabled will appear on display. To unlock the functions, restart the controller and press the down key for a few seconds. When you release it, the parameters can be reissued. Deactivation of control functions. This function causes the controller to operate only as a temperature indicator, turning off the load control relay. Note, to access this function, set the F21 parameter as explained in the user's manual. Through the flat tech key, access control, then press set. The display alternates between temperature and the disabling indication. To reactivate the control functions, apply the same procedure, which will cause the reverse effect. Setting the temperature, set point. The set point can also be changed through the flat tech key. Press set and adjust using the up and down keys. Minimum and maximum temperature record. This function allows you to view, with an option to delete, the limit temperatures recorded in the process. Press flat tech until the display shows record. Press set. Note, also to access the record function, press the up key once until the display shows the temperatures. To clear the values, click flat tech until the record's cleaning message is displayed. Press set. Viewing the processes. This function displays the status and the elapsed time of a given process or function. Click flat tech until the display shows the processes message. Press set. Note. Also, to access the process function, press the down key once. Press set until the display shows the current process, followed by the elapsed time in minutes. Note, if disabling the control functions has been made, you will see the disabled control message. Advanced operation, programming the parameters, access code. To change the other MT512E2HP functions, you must enter the access code in F01. This can be done in two ways. With flat tech, press repeatedly until the FUNC message appears and press set. Access F01 and using the up and down keys, enter value 1, 2, 3. Another way to enter the access code is by simultaneously pressing up and down. With access to the parameters released, press the up or down keys to change the other functions from F02 to F21, according to the parameter table located in the user's manual. Notes: If after providing the access code there is a delay of more than 15 seconds, the system returns to operation, requiring new code entry. With the lock functions enabled, the controller will not allow the setting of parameters. Parameters table. In the user's manual, you can find the instrument's parameter table with the description of all the functions that are unlocked through the access code. It lists the parameters with its description and set of values, minimum and maximum for Celsius and Fahrenheit units. Important. Specified in the right column are the factory default parameters. Set these values according to your needs or application within the minimum and maximum range of each function. To facilitate the programming of the E-Line instruments, Full Gauge Controls provides the Easy Probe Programmer Key. This accessory's main function is to store the parameters of the controllers, load them, and download them quickly and easily. Via USB, you can connect the Easy Probe to your computer and with the Citrad Recipe Editor, copy, edit, and save parameters. MT512E 2HP Controller Programming Examples Your MT512E 2HP controller has 20 adjustable parameters, allowing infinite programming combinations. 
which makes the tool extremely versatile and able to be used in various cooling, defrost, and heating applications, in addition to safety and security controls. Refer to the user's manual for details on each parameter. We present below an applied example of installation in cooling and another in heating, demonstrating the use of various parameters. Important. All variables, values, and setting forms are only teaching examples. Each type and application condition require a careful analysis of all the available parameters for the best possible setting with maximum performance and safety. In the cooling example, we will consider a refrigerated counter where the temperature or set point must be maintained at 2 degrees Celsius. In the heating example, we will simulate a drying oven, which must be maintained at 45 degrees Celsius. F02, set point. Set point is the temperature we want to keep. It's also the point where the load control relay is turned off. In the examples, we adopted a set point of 20 degrees Celsius in cooling and 45 degrees Celsius in heating. F03, indication offset. This parameter is used to compensate any deviations in temperature due to the sensor or cable. Use a calibrated thermometer next to the controller sensor to check for any deviation. In the examples, we adopted an offset of plus 1.4 degrees Celsius in cooling and minus 1 degree Celsius in heating. F04 and F05, minimum and maximum set point allowed to user. The MT512E2HP controller can control temperatures within a range of minus 50 to 105 degrees Celsius. In the examples, we limit this range to minus 10 to plus 15 degrees Celsius in cooling and 30 to 50 degrees Celsius in heating. These limits, or electronic stops, restrict the range released to adjust the set point, seeking protection and security. F06, control differential, hysteresis. It is the difference between the set point temperature and the temperature at which the controller relay will be reactivated. In the cooling example, with a set point of two degrees Celsius and the hysteresis adjusted at three degrees Celsius, the controller shuts down the compressor at two degrees Celsius and reconnects it at five degrees Celsius. In the heating example, with a set point of 45 degrees Celsius and the hysteresis adjusted at five degrees Celsius, the controller shuts down the heater at 45 degrees Celsius and reconnects it at 40 degrees Celsius. Note, a very low hysteresis results in high frequency in the controller relay activation and deactivation cycles, which can shorten the life of the components. F07, operation mode. To operate in cooling, assign the zero value and value one to operate in heating. F08, minimum output on time. It is the minimum time in which the controller relay remains on after the last start. The goal is to avoid repetitive disconnections. In the cooling example, we opted for 180 seconds, and in the case of heating, we adopted a minimum time, selecting the no symbol. F09, minimum output off time. Similar to the previous parameter, this determines the minimum relay off time since the last start. Select no so as not to adopt a minimum time or provide a value between one and 999 seconds. In the examples, we chose 240 seconds for both applications. F10, cooling time. It determines the minimum time the controller will act in cooling, that is, the interval between defrosts. In this example, we determined a time of 120 minutes. F11, defrost time. It determines the minimum duration of the defrost time, that is the time between cooling cycles. Select no so as not to adopt a minimum time or provide a value between one and 999 minutes. In this example, we determined a time of 20 minutes. F12, initial state when energizing the instrument. In cooling, it allows to select the operating mode when operating the controller. To start directly in cooling, enter the value zero, 
or one to start into frost. The duration will be in accordance with parameter F11. In the example, we chose to start directly in cooling. F13, lock temperature indication during the frost. Select no so as not to lock the temperature indication and yes to lock it. In the examples, we chose not to lock the indication. F14, delay in energizing the instrument. This setting prevents the generation of electricity demand peaks in the event of failure and return when there are multiple devices. Select no so as not to delay the energizing. If you choose a delay, provide a time of 1 to 240 minutes. In the examples, we chose not to adopt the delay. F15, additional time at the end of the first cycle. This parameter allows you to increase the cooling time of the first cycle after driving the controller. If you do not wish to adopt an additional time, select no or provide a time of 1 to 240 minutes. In the example, we opted for an increase of 5 minutes. F16, output situation with damage sensor. 0 to leave the compressor off, 1 to leave the compressor on, 2 to keep the compressor cycling according to time set in parameters F17 and F18. This was the option adopted in the example. If when operating and heating there's a problem with the sensor, the output is switched off. F17, output time turned on in case of error. It sets the minimum time the compressor will stay on if the sensor is disconnected or out of the measurement range. In the example, we opted for an increase of 10 minutes. F18, output time turned on in case of error. It sets the minimum time the compressor will stay off if the sensor is disconnected or out of the measurement range. In the example, we opted for an increase of 10 minutes. F19, digital filter intensity. This parameter delays the response of the sensor, the so-called thermal inertia. It is often used in cooled or heated environments where the door is open frequently. In order to not adopt the filter, select no. To activate the filter, provide a value between one and nine. The higher the assigned value, the greater the delay in the sensor response. In the examples, we chose not to adopt the filter. F20, lock time of the control functions. To activate the lock, it's necessary to adjust the F20 parameter with a value greater than 14. For this reason, we adjust the parameter to 20 seconds in the examples. With this activated locking, the set point and other parameters are protected against unauthorized changes. We have seen this function in basic operation. F21, control functions shutdown. It allows the shutdown of the controller output for maintenance. Select no so as not to turn off the output or enter the two value to turn it off. In the examples, we chose not to shut it down as this setting is adopted only in case of shutdown for maintenance. If you have any doubts, don't hesitate to contact us.